So we are reading from Radharasa Sudaniti from Prabhupada Saraswati Thakur, verse 29. Sri Ratam Nija Vitena Sahala Pantim Shonadhara Pras Prasri Mara Chabi Manjarikam Sindura Sambalita Moktika Pankti Shobham Yo Bhavayet Dashana Kundavatim Sa Danya Translation Anyone who meditates on the sweet conversation between Sri Radhika and her deceitful lover in which the beauty that gushes from her reddish sprout-like lips the Sindura vermilion in her part that is beautified by a row of pearls and her teeth that are as white as kunda flowers are seen is fortunate <laughs> Anyone who meditates on the sweet conversation between Sri Radhika and her deceitful lover in which the beauty that gushes from her reddish sprout-like lips, the Sindura vermilion in her part that is beautified by a row of pearls and her teeth that are as white as kunda flowers are seen is fortunate So if we can meditate uh, upon the sweet conversations between Radhika and this mentioned with her deceitful lover and meditating upon all these details and especially about her teeth that are compared with kunda flowers. They are so white, like kunda flowers. Is fortunate. If we can meditate upon this, then we are considered to be fortunate because the mind always wants to meditate upon so many things, material things often, then we are considered to be unfortunate because then the mind is going away, keeping us in the material consciousness. So this is a very, again and again, very sweet prayer. for all of us to show uh, on what we should meditate. So the title here is Sri Radha has teeth like Kunda flowers. Commentary 
bei Srimatis Grace, Sripat gets another transcendental vision. He sees Sri Radhika sitting in a sweet bower forest, being lovingly angry with Krishna. whom she left behind in the trysting bower. Just to please her, Krishna sent a Vita, <coughs> a Vita named Kadara to her. A Vita is a helper of the hero according to Uchvala Nilamani. So these visions are coming by Srimati's grace, because this Bhakti path is a mercy path. We are depending on the grace of Gurudev and on the grace of Srimati. So this cannot be achieved by endeavoring. It is achieved by our sincere practice and putting ourselves into the flow so that Gurudev can navigate and then by the grace such a vision may appear to us and here sri radhika is talking lovingly angry she's angry but it is lovingly because it is not the anger that we are experiencing in the material world it's a transcendental anger it's a loving anger because it is a part of the Leela and a part of their love play. So here it is uh, coming a verse from the Uchvala Nilamani, Nayaka Sahaya, who says, A person who is expert in making dresses, who is bold, who is an expert talker, and who knows all the arts of the Kama Tantra, is called Avita. The main Vitas are named Kadara and Bharati Banda. Kadara comes to Srimati and reminds her of the extraordinary ability of Krishna's flute in breaking her peak, saying, Radhe, don't think that Shyama, Shyam is an ordinary boy. Kalakridat Chamshi, Stagita Jagati, Yot Vata Driti. The unclear sounds of his flute destroy the patience of all the young girls of the world. O Radhe, I pray to you with folded hands. Don't give up Shema Sundara. No do-eyed girl in Vraja ever rejects my words. Radhika's anger is one of love. And when she hears Kadara's sweet, romantic words. 
She smiles with satisfaction and gives up her peak. <coughs> How sweet are her reddish lips then? Bimboste nava vidruma chabi. This is from verse 99. They are red like bimba cherries and shining fresh coral. They are red like bimba cherries and shining fresh coral. Even limitlessly sweet and beautiful Krishna becomes very lusty when he sees her. Shpurat Arunatara Svadu Sudhara Krita Harimana Salobham. This is from Sangita Madhava. Her moon like smile showers nectar while she sweetly converses with Kadara. The maidservant is enchanted by seeing all the beauty. The beautiful stripe of vermilion in Srimati's part looks like a newly risen sun that makes friends with the dense darkness of night. How beautiful is the row of pearls on the part. It seems as if the stars were feeling cold and left their husband, the moon, to take shelter of the red rising sun. The vermilion in Radha's part. So the maidservant here is enchanted by all this beauty because the maidservants are viewing what is all happening here and are enchanted because there is no limit to relishing the rasa. So that is what the maidservants are doing. They are viewers of the scene and waiting until Srimati gives there a glance. So then they will exactly know what seva is required. And they are relishing this because they are so close to Radhika that they exactly feel the same as she do. And therefore they know also exactly what is needed at the moment, what seva is required. Otherwise they are simply astonished by all this beauty, which is very nicely described in so much detail. So this is, uh, this is the grace coming from this book to us so that we can meditate upon this when we are practicing our bhajan. So, Lade Lade, uh, may I ask one question about this Rira? Yes, of course. Thank you. I don't know who is this Kadara. Is this Manjari or Saki or what?
Uh, I also, I don't know really. And uh, usually, I think only Ujwara Niramani <coughs> and other books described. See, Krishna has, uh, no, Radharani has Saki and Manjari. So, similarly, Krishna has some, some Saki who can help him. Here, like uh, Anandas Baj Maharaj was describing, a person who is expert in making dresses is like Saki or Manjari, and who is bold and expert talker because she can negotiate with Radhika because Radhika was man. Krishna cannot pacify her. At that time, Krishna sent her to pacify or some, you know, doing some, something, some deal. And who know all the art of the karma tantra? A karma tantra means who can, who can know art means who can help Krishna to meeting Radhika or even something. So this is kind of Krishna's Saki. And some special name is given to <coughs> this Bita. And Ujjana Niramani is also different kind of, you know, uh, kind of word, specific words. But uh, we are concentrated, we are, we are trying to be Manjari. So we don't, we don't know so much about this one. But uh, we have to know in Krishna's, Krishna's side, there is someone who is helping Krishna to meet Radhika or to, to enhance uh, Radha Mohan's Lira. So I think, you know, in this information is, I think, quite uh, enough, but we have to know Krishna has Saki Manjari. Also, uh, Krishna has also like, like Saki, like a uh, lady's helper. So that's uh, all I know like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you very much. And here, Ananta Das Baba says, maybe this Saki, let's say, Saki, she sweetly converses with Kadara, means like a equal, almost equal. Conversation means like a sitting together and glorify Mohan. Krishna is not ordinary. And like this, so this Saki makes Radha's eagerness to meet Mohan. But this is Mohan's side. And make Radha beauty and eager. But our manjaris are uh, at that time just uh, saying Namprana Bharabhaji says. This is a different role. Is this right? Um, I don't catch so much yet. We can, we can, we can. Um. If it is a different role, from who? Yeah. Uh, we want to concentrate on what we are doing as Manjari. And here Kadara come to Radhika and glorify. Our Krishna is not ordinary person. His fruit is amazing, something like this. Conversation yeah. with Radha, yeah. it's like a Saki, same level, glorify Krishna. Yeah, because then, like Radha's love more become eager. And uh, our Manjaris are seeing how Radha's love more increasing. I think this is a different role. Is this right? Yeah, because Radhika is lovingly angry with Krishna, and these Vitas, they are helping Krishna 
because maybe he can do it by himself because he feels oh this radhika she's very angry on me i cannot approach her now at this moment then she uh, then he kindly sends this vitas to help him and they are pacifying Srimati radhika's loving anger by praying like this to her so they say no one can give up the Shamasundra. Please don't give him up to pacify her. So they are the helpers of Shyama in this way. So, so it is said there is five kinds of Saki. A Saki, a say, Saki means five kinds. Saki. Kriya Saki, Parama Preshta Saki, and Nitya Saki, and Prana Saki. So among the Saki, generally speaking, Saki is called Krishna Adik Sneha Saki. And uh, Kriya Saki and Parama Preshta Saki is Sama Sneha Saki. Purana Saki and Nitya Saki is Radha Adiksneha Saki. So there is three kinds of Saki, five kinds of Saki, but among the five kinds of Saki, uh, you know, uh, Bishama Sneha Saki and uh, Sama Sneha Saki and Radha Adiksneha Saki. So this is Bita is Saki, means Kri among the Krishna, uh, Krishna Adiksneha Saki or Bishama Sneha Saki. It, there is some different laws of Saki. This is called Bita. If we may understand like this, then more, uh, more clearly understood, maybe. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. More clear. Yeah, because like Sri Radhika has many Manjari. Uh, helpers, maidservants. Also Krishna, he is also organized. So in some situation, he gets also some help at his side. Srimati is only angry to please Krishna. Only her external form is angry. Her substance is most sweet and the substance is relishable, not the form. A snake made of sugar candy does not spit poison rather it is as sweet as sugar Sripat's heart is absorbed in Srimati's beauty <laughs> suddenly his transcendental vision disappears and returning to his external consciousness and behavior, he says, anyone who meditates on Srimati Radhika's beautiful teeth that shine like kumbha flowers is very fortunate. So here we can see the love play because Radhika, she is not really angry. She's angry to please Krishna. And it's only her uh, outside manifestation she manifests 
anger without being really angry. So on the inside, she's feeling completely different because it is a love play to increase even the love of Krishna or increase their love in their relationship. She's playing like this. And then uh, suddenly this vision disappears from Sripat and he says, if we can meditate on this, especially the teeth are again mentioned, who are compared to this uh, Kunda flowers, is very fortunate if we can meditate upon this Leela, then we are considered to be very fortunate. Yeah. So Again, actually, red, uh, so actually, red color sometimes means anger. Surfacely, she is anger, pick. But inside, she has pure love for Mohan. Means from this reddish mass, little bit open, we can see this what this like kunda flower means her anger little bit melt without smiling she cannot show without talking she cannot show her this means she covered her uh, her pure heart pure love with anger that's why if we can see as Manjari her white teeth, Kunda flowers teeth, means we can see inside Radha's pure love for Mohan. This is what I feel from here. Just and not ordinary beauty. This is surfacely <laughs> anganes, but inside she has pure love for Mohan. Very good. So many fortunate persons there, you know, at first, so anyone who practicing bhakti is fortunate. But among the bhakti, there is Vaidhi bhakti and Raganuga bhakti, and uh, some who practicing Raga bhakti, Raganuga bhakti is more fortunate. Mm -hmm. Here mentioned, Radha and Krishna, Radha is Mohan, is sweet conversation. Sweet conversation occurred in Kunja and Nikunja. So who can see this pastime? Only someone who has Saki or Manjari could see, could hear this pastime. For us, we see in this vision as, as Manjari, as made Saba. We see as Manjari how our Swamini is beautiful. And Kishori said it's very nice. Letokara means it is said many meaning, but the one it's kind of passionate, eagerness for Rama. And uh, Letkara, but this Letkara means speech, spiritual eagerness for Radhika, for Moha. And white, white is sometimes it is say purity because radical is so pure. Radicals uh, Radhika give us or give give Krishna this other Amrita. This is very much Amrita. 
And the radicals pure love represent white, my feeling is. Radicals passionate for Mohan is represented radical. So this color is very interesting. And uh, this law of pearl, pearl is also white. And also this uh, cimenta, this part, red color is kunkuma is red. Uh, radical feeling is it's inside feeling and outside feeling. It's, it's, it looks like different, but different meaning. Means externally angry, but internally so much love, full of love. This Guru Dev say, this parakia. In material world, in external thing, inside thing, different is not good. But in spiritual world, inside feeling, outside angerness, it's good because it for, for, for the pleasure of Moha. This angerness is loving angerness. Sneha, man, Turanaya, Laga, Anuranga, Baba, and Mahababa. So different stage of love is there. This angerness is not material angerness. This is man to increase Mohan's feeling more. Radhika is become angry. So Kishori is saying it's, it's I think, very nice. Rade, rade. Yeah, then I see Gora Sundara Prabhu's face. What is the real beauty of Radhika? It's a, I'm glad to sit together, both of you. Very happy. Um, real beauty is like uh, all this. Uh, Lips is beautiful, your teeth is beautiful. It's also beautiful, but who is Radhika? Radhika is Mahababa herself. We can glorify her feeling through her beauty. This is the real beauty of her. Isn't it, Gora Sundar? Yeah, Radhika is beautiful. That's <clears throat> every morning we share the description of her beauty, right? And how we can relish this. And now uh, we're so happy Dananda Maharaj came this night, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Late? Yeah. 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 Wow. And uh, morning Guru Dev left to Delhi. You know why? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> you know the secret. <laughs> yeah. But it's, uh, I think he will tell, maybe better. Maybe he knows. Maybe yeah. he knows. He said it but, yesterday in front of the uh, So, an official, yeah. He, is, uh, he went to Delhi for a uh, visa. So, what is the meaning of a visa? <laughs> <laughs> I think for the US, right? Yeah. Yes. So, this but, uh, is uh, amazing after so many years in Vrindavan, there is something new is coming. So, he has desire. I don't, don't know what is this desire or... You know, this morning I met Guru Dev. And, uh, oh, this morning I met Guru, I went to see Guru Dev, nobody there. And then later Mahatma and uh, Kishori came. Hey, Guru Dev, are you going to Delhi? Yes. 
Then I'm asking, oh, Gurudev, are you traveling again? You know? And then he said, oh, are you going to US? And then he said, if I'm going to US, I have to go travel another place also. <laughs> I'm not sure, you know. I'm not sure. But at least last time Gurudev said, you know, if we keep this visa, many possibilities there, you know. So, but if we lose this opportunity, then again to taking another visa is maybe more difficult. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, better to keep, because Krishna said to Bhagavad Gita, Krishna protect whatever we have. Krishna provide us whatever we need. So, good is the feeling he need that visa. And Krishna, and Adam Mohan said, okay, so I don't know in the future, and uh, what's the deep meaning of this one? Maybe other people know it. Yes. I mean, it was uh, for sure now an intense time because of Mataji, family, all these things happened. And uh, but what we can see here, I think, is that uh, Gurdiv has a, a lot of energy at the moment also. He is. Uh, now he's again coming to basement. He's uh, uh, walking more. He's more energetic even after this uh, <coughs> intense time with uh, family and Mataji. <coughs> and uh, I mean, this is also a sign of uh, that there is some uh, special energy with him. Uh, we could see when he is traveling so many months in the whole world. Who can do this, right? Mm -hmm. So we was some weeks in Europe or there. This is so we feel really bodily. Also, it's it's uh, uh, intense. It's intense to travel every day some other place like this. And he did for months, and he is still energetic. And this is uh, a miracle we cannot always understand where this energy is coming from. But I feel it's because of his relationship to uh, his Guru Dev and also Radha Mohan. He feels always connected in the heart. So there is a, 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 so much uh, energy to him flowing so that uh, this is possible, even in an old body. And this is the beauty of our Gurudev also. And um, yeah, he's really planning this uh, journey, and hopefully he will also come, not only in the US, <laughs> but I think it's, uh, it depends <laughs> on his uh, bodily uh, possibilities. But at the moment, we feel he is very energetic and enthusiastic and uh, full of, uh, what I um, right? Yeah, like try. <laughs> <laughs> Motivated. Mo motivation, yes. And uh, yeah, that makes us very hopeful. And uh, yes, let's see. He is in, in the. He feels always in the hand of our Swamini. So he, she will uh, decide inside his heart. So we will see when he come back today. The news we will share tomorrow with all of you. So now let's come back to the the verse where where we was here. How oh, we just start? No, no. And this we, we just uh, I don't know which this this around.
Wow. This is beta and uh, Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, today, Vatican, <laughs> that's Anga. Today, group is always going with the bus to Aragon. Hmm? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, Are you going? Yes, at uh, ten. Really? Yes, they, uh, oh they with the bus. The Maharani will uh, uh, go with the whole family, and there are so others also going. Really? Yeah, yeah. Are you going also? No. Um, we just uh, uh, we will get a, a, a generator, and today uh, is one uh, uh, electrician is coming for the picture. Yes, mm -hmm. wiring, wiring, and all preparing for the place for this, and for him to be here. Otherwise, I will also go to Radakund. So tomorrow they can also tell about how it was on Radakund these mm -hmm. days. Yes, many things happen now in the ashram. <laughs> ashram is getting full and many devotees coming. So beautiful now and also daytime we have 20, 25. It's very beautiful now, Vrindavan. And uh, to be here with all these devotees is beautiful and, uh, and Guru Dev sharing very intense. Yes. So, who is reading today? I banana, banana. Yeah, maybe. Let's continue, right? Mm. Okay. The word Vita can also mean shameless, lusty cheater and womanizer. Mm. How beautiful Srimati looks when she converses with her Vita, Sri Krishna. Sripat, in his kinkari form, is absorbed in her service and can hear their sweet conversation. Each line of this verse clearly describes how the ocean of Srimati's beauty swells when the moon-like face of Shyama Sundara rises above it. The devotees should remember these sweet pastimes Anyone who does so is blessed indeed. The word alapa used in the text means, according to Sri Rupa Goswami, Chattu Priyoktir alap, Alapa. The use of flattering, loving words. Srila Chandidas perfectly describes Srimati's flattering words in the following song. So the devotee should remember this sweet pastime because it will sweeten us if we are remembering the sweet pastimes who are full of rasa so that we can get the taste of this and our mind will be floated with rasa and we will get a taste for this. So this is like the moon who is very cooling and to remember this, we can also cool the heat of our mind by 
pulling the mind in the right direction so that the mind will be our friend who helps us in the practice of our bhajan instead of driving us all the time away and keeping us in the bodily consciousness. So this can be only experienced in our Manjari Swarup, only if we have a spiritual body that we are trying to cultivate, then we will able we will be able to relish this all this beauty. Therefore, Sripad says the devotee should remember. This is his uh, uh suggestion. This is his suggestion to us, ultimately because it's, it's depending on our desire and our decision, what we want. Therefore, he says we should. It would be good if we do this in our practice. Right? Yes, sure. Because Yaya Biapi Sumaram Babam Chajanti Anti Karebaram. So, whatever we remembered, we attain these things. So, if we remember Radha Mohan's sweet pastime, and then we can be there very near you know very near future or fortunate we can be there now so therefore whatever remembrance about Radha and Mohan especially Nikunjarira that is so much recommendable according to a Shastra and also this Anandas Vajim Maharaj and our Guru, Guru Maharaj, Guru Dev. So, uh, Srila Chandidas perfectly describes Srimati's flattering words in the following song. This is the song. Dear friend, what more shall I say in life or in death, birth after birth? You are the Lord of my heart. You have bound my heart to your lotus feet with the net of love. I have completely surrendered myself to your service and I am determined to be your maidservant. This is a very nice song who says I have completely surrendered myself to your service and I'm determined to be your maidservant. This reminds me uh, of Srila Prabhupada who says that the most important thing in our bhajan is also determination, means that we exactly know what our goal is and that we fix that goal and if we can surrender means if we can accept the words of Gurudev and then he will be able to navigate us because we are surrendering. In the verse yesterday it was mentioned five times that the flow of the rasa comes to the surrendered souls. So why he mentions this five times 
And here again, it is mentioned surrendering because it is a very important point. So that and to be determined, it's important to be navigated towards the goal that this navigation will even will even be possible. So this is a very beautiful and to remind us also how to do how to get the feeling for this so here we we should ask who is who is telling this this is radika right yeah so because otherwise it would be in gopi bar no yes if it's not radika that to understand in this mm -hmm. verse, no? So, maid servant will not uh, uh, use the same words. <clears throat> you can again read this line, then we can understand. But I think it's also Srila Chandidas perfectly describes Srimati's flattering words in the following song. So that means it is she who is telling this. It's our radic. Yes, and she's telling this in uh, that particular uh, words or mood for us. This is her grace, her mercy to make us understand how we can be in the mood of becoming a maidservant. So I will continue reading. And yeah, just maybe. also, I also, this usually this Chandidas describes Gopi Baba or maybe Saki Baba. So this is, this, so Gorasandara say, this is actually not to Manjari Baba. Because this Ishtadeva is Krishna. Because Radhika's Ishtadeva is Krishna. So this Gopi's Ishtadeva is, is Krishna. So this maid servant means Krishna's maid servant. Means like a Gopi or maybe mm -hmm. Saki. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, we want to be Radhika's maid servant. This is uh, so this is completely, if I say, different things. So sometimes we may confuse, oh, this is a good, I want to become maid servant of Radhika. No, 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 a Krishna. But this is not Manjari Baba, not Baba Urasarasa. So this is, so generally speaking, Chandidas means, he say, maybe he discovered Radhika's Baba or Gopi's Baba. Rade, rade. Mm. Okay, now I'm a little bit confused, but anyway, we will continue reading. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, it's right, this is Gurudev's fine-tuning. We have to understand the difference between Saki Bhav, Gopi Bhav and Manjari Bhav. And uh, Jainandaji is uh, perfectly explaining this. So this is this is really actually in uh, this, uh, all when they speak directly to Krishna the, in their bar, then it's not Manjari bar because Manjari is always first fix their Radhika. Mm. They see Krishna only through Radhika, not never directly, they will never pray to Krishna, never or describe their feelings towards Krishna. You will never hear the Manjari who is doing this. They always have their feelings towards Radhika, Radhika's Krishna. Mm -hmm. That makes the difference and we have to know this because then we will develop our feelings in the Manjari bar. And this is important to us to clear this. This is meaning one-pointed, Stai bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not, that's important. I thought I was 
talking about that as to become a manjari of Radhika. That right. is what this was my understanding of this. Can we read it again? Okay, the song starts as follow. And this is Srila Chandidas is describing Srimati's flattering words in the following song. Okay. Dear friend, what more shall I say in life or in death? You see, dear friend. Yeah. Who, who say dear friend? Manjari? No. no. <laughs> Dear friend is <laughs> Moha, <laughs> Krishna. So it's not, not the word of a manjari. Okay. In life or in death, birth after birth, you are the Lord of my heart. Okay, he's addressing to Krishna. Mm. You have bound my heart to your lotus feet with the net of love. I have completely surrendered myself to your service and I'm determined to be your maidservant. Okay, this means that Krishna has also some kind of maidservants. Sure, Radhika. Is Say she is his maidservant. The word maidservant is making the confusion because now Radharani is really speaking to Krishna and saying that she is the maidservant. Yes. And that is for us confusing. Okay. Because okay. the word maidservant is there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. important thing, who is a maidservant? Yeah. That is important. Yeah. You know, ma okay. many different kinds of maidservant. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Actually, gopis could also be maidservant. That is not a problem. Maidservant is yeah. only a word that means, uh, but uh, the to mean a manjari is a bar. Okay, okay, now I get the mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, maidservant and manjari. Mm -hmm. Manjari is a particular kind manjari of maidservant. Small, small. This is the smallest one in Kinkari. Yeah. They have, this is clear. And maidservant is speaking in general. It could be also a sake. Can gopi, be gopi. a gopi. Or a radika. Or radika can yeah, be a maidservant. I think she's, the, she's saying maidservant of Krishna. Mm, yes. And the mandaris are not made servants of Krishna. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now it's clear. We could clear the subject. Okay. Jai Ho. This yeah. morning Jai -ho. we are successful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought to myself, who else do I have? In these three worlds, nobody is asking about Radha. With whom shall I stay? I will say that I belong to this family, my own family. That family, my in-law's family, or both these families, in Gokula. Knowing them to be cool, I took shelter of your lotus feet. Don't kick me or trick me. I am a naive and weak girl. I have seen after due deliberation that I have no other shelter than the Lord of my life. If my eyes don't see you for even half a moment, then I will die. Chandida says, I am wearing a touchstone that I bound around my neck. One may ask, why should one try to flatter a deceitful womanizer? The experts say to this, 
This kind of adultery is most relishable, and that is why the extramartial relationship is accepted in Vraja. So, I think we have to read again. From where? Nobody is asking about Radha. Mm. Isn't it? I thought to myself, who else? Do I have in these three words? Nobody is asking about Radha. Oh, no, okay, I'll read again. No. <clears throat> Nobody is asking about Radha. With whom shall I stay? I will say that I belong to this family, my own family. That family, my in-laws' family, or both these families in Gokula. Knowing them to be cool, I took shelter of your lotus feet. Don't kick me or trick me. I'm a naive and weak girl. I have seen after due deliberation that I have no other shelter than the Lord of my life. Ma so this is uh, again Chandidas, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, so, there is again the question, who is telling this? Is it Radhika or a Gopi? Is it Chanidas in the mood of the Gopi? Or is it addressed towards Radhika? I don't understand this really. It seems Radhika is one, no? But then, nobody is asking about Radha. This is the, the difficult to understand. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, it's getting complicated a little bit. Because here I feel it's a little mixed. <clears throat> Maybe to translate, I don't know. It's still the translation of this song, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the Chandra is describing the kind of radical one, mm -hmm. it seems, you know, yeah. but, but this is the little Rana. And why say Radha? Maybe she's talking. In this we third, should. Third person. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. That we should, should present be. this to Gurudev because it's complex, you know. She say like uh, she say herself maybe I don't know yeah. this is I'm not sure yeah yeah <laughs> so this we have to clear because otherwise it will uh, makes us uh, 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 confused yeah uh, uh, what is uh, what is the, the meaning? meaning and in which bath. It is uh, uh, written. Is it mixed? Is it uh, Radhika's bath towards Mohan, or is it Chandidas' bath as a gopi, 
or is it maybe a problem with the translation? But, uh, yeah, um, it could be. So I will <clears throat> let it open. So I continue. Chandida says, I am wearing a touchstone that I bound around my neck. One may ask, why should one try to flatter a deceitful womanizer? The experts say to this, this kind of adultery is most relishable and that is why the extra martial relationship is accepted in Vraja. Sri Vishwanath Chakravarti Pat states in his Prema Samputa Sri Krishna dresses as a goddess, <clears throat> tells Radha about himself. O Radhe, the prince of Raja is an ocean of love and the mind of jewel-like qualities. His deceitfulness, naftiness and crookedness are all most enchanting. He makes his love appear like lust to the woman to make their love seem superior to his. Well, I will repeat this. You could also try to call Guru. Maybe he's in the car. Good morning. We are just in the class and we have again a question. Have you time? <laughs> so then let's read the I will read. <laughs> there is a, a question between because of the bar. Our Chandidas is uh, 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 in a, in a song. He's. Uh, I will. I will read the song. Okay, good. Day. Maybe this this one also. Dear friend, what more shall I say? In life or in death, birth after birth, you are the Lord of my heart. You have bound my heart to your lotus feet with the net of love. I have completely surrendered myself to your lotus, to your service, and I'm determined to be your maidservant. These are words of Radhika, right? Right. So then we continue. I thought to myself, who else do I have in these three worlds? Nobody is asking about Radha. With whom shall I stay? I would say that I belong to this family, that family, or both these families in Gokula. Knowing them to be cool, 
I took shelter of your lotus feet. So, don't kick me or trick me. I'm a naive and weak girl. I have seen after due deliberation that I have no other shelter than the Lord of my life. Are these words from Radhika or from, uh, from uh, a Gopi? Which Bab is this? I, maybe I will uh, uh, read the, the song uh, uh, to the end. Yeah. Maybe it comes more clear. If my eyes don't see you for even half a moment, then I will die. Chandida says, I am wearing a touchstone that I bound around my neck. One may ask, why should one try to flatter a deceitful womanizer? The expert say to this, this kind of adultery is most relishable, and that is why the extra martial relationship is accepted in France. So it's a little confusing. This is Radhika. Yeah? yeah. It's Radhika. It's always singing for Radhika or something. Aha. No You can hear Gurudev there? Yeah, yeah. Ah. In the time of Mahaprabhu, uh -huh. so that, that, that So that means it is a. Uh, we have to, we can understand that this is, he described the feelings of Radhika. Okay. So then it's, I think it's clear now, and we could make clear this question over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you are in Delhi now? Yeah. So nice to be with you. Maybe I can this. Yes. Yes. Jai Gurudev, thank you very Jai, much. Jai Gurudev. Thank you, Gurudev. Jai Gurudev. Jai. So, yes, Gurudev, we are leading. Now I'm um, now I think more clear, Gurudev, you know. So I I I repeat and I try to say if <coughs> this Chandidas word is Radhika's word. And yeah. Chandra's feeling is sometimes Radha's feeling, sometimes Gopi's feeling, sometimes Saki's feeling, not Manjari Baba. No. So, and this sentence, yes, yes, they are, they are like kind of Gopi Baba and Saki Baba. So, and then this was said, our questioning, this is, nobody is asking about Radha. So Radha was telling, by himself. Because in this time, Radhika is feeling very humble. 
I made the servant of you know, my Mohan, my Krishna. But the Krish, but nobody say radicals, radicals ones means radical because feeling very, very humble. So he was thinking so low. Nobody talking about me. Yeah. You know, this kind so radicals are kind of, uh, what do you say, like, uh, what do you say? Kind sad. of, yeah, very sad That's mood, sad. kind of complain, you know. But actually, this is representing love for Mohan. So, right. mm. so therefore, you know, this, this, this bus chanted us is, is one important point. Chanted us is not manjari. No. So this is, we, we have to understand. Yes. So, yes, Chandida Bitta Baba is Gopi Baba and Saki Baba. Sometimes they, they describe about Radhika, but their mood is Saki Baba or Gopi Baba. Yes. Right? I, right, Guru Dev? Yeah, I agree. And uh, there was the top, the topic, the first meaning was the use of flattering, loving words. So this is between two lovers, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Right. And second thing, it all starts with Mandiri from Rupa Sutta. Ah. Even, even the Densa uh, uh, is in different, different form. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. Ananga Manjari is also a little mixed, right? Mixer, yeah. Manjari <laughs> Bhav and Sakiva. Yeah. Manjari Bhav is coming from Rupa Ramana. That we have to understand. So we go in the details because of this to clear the path in this world, good. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this Radhara Sasdani did two kinds of books. Mm. Why is why is Saki Baba? Why is Manjari Baba? So Anandas Baj Maharaj describes about Manjari Baba. But this 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 sentence he just to you know quote radical feeling mm. you know that's it but we 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 should not confuse this this feeling right i agree so then good then we call you if we are a little confused okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much okay thank you thank you good day. okay good day so uh, we are waiting for you then. Yes. Okay. Jai Ho. Jai. Jai Gurudev. Jai Rati. So now uh, it comes a verse from Vishwana Chakrivarti Pat from his book Prema Shamputa, who says, Sri Krishna dressed as a gold, as a goddess, tells Radha about himself. O Radhe, the prince of Vraja, is an ocean of love and a mine of jewel-like qualities. His deceitfulness, naughtiness and crookedness are all most enchanting. He makes his love appear like lust to the woman to make their love seem superior to his. Him, he makes his love appear like lust. Yeah. That's it. He makes his love, 
that is a, a, a nice description. He makes his love appear like lust. So lust is in the material world, but in the spiritual world it's always love. But he makes his love appear like lust to the woman to make their love seem superior to his deep, deep meaning. And he is very funny, you know. <laughs> Krishna, Krishna dresses like a baby. <laughs> you know, like goddess. Krishna, you know, that Devi said to about Krishna means Krishna himself talking about himself, you know. <laughs> this is very funny, you know. Yeah. And then Radhika was listening, you know. He's a very nice boy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> His love is not materialist, you know. <laughs> it's pure, you know. It's very funny, but very nice person. Krishna himself said, you know, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's He's very naughty, yeah? naughty, and, naughty. And this is uh, really only when the Lord appears in Vrindavan. This sweetness we will find nowhere. Else. No. This is because uh, Krishna completely <laughs> forget his his uh, yeah, yeah. You know, like uh, my aesthetic yeah, form. Yeah, like uh, like uh, like a good godness. Like, you know, like uh, he, he, he completely forget Aishwarya mood. <laughs> completely, he become like <laughs> funny, funny boy, you know, funny combat yeah. boy. Yeah. He dress himself in, as a woman and makes this kind of jokes. We see in also in many paintings when he dress, Gopi dress, right? Yes. So beautiful. Thank you. As you said, this is only possible in Vrindavan because uh, he is Vrajendranandan Krishna, the original Krishna, who is considered to be a local prince. This means no Aishwarya concept is there. This is a completely Madhurya Bhav, mm. who is only available in Vrindavan. Mm. Because Aishwarya mood, we cannot play joke, you know? No. Very serious, no, no, you know? No, no, no. Very serious, you know? We cannot hug, you know? <laughs> no, you cannot do this. You cannot make joke. Make, don't make fun, you know? Better not. Yeah, very serious. <laughs> but the Krishna is very funny. Yeah. My God. <laughs> this is unbelievable. You cannot imagine this. Yeah, it's it's uh, unbelievable, Leela, that Krishna is trying to deceive in this way, talking and, and glorifying himself, it's not something that we can imagine. That it, yeah. <laughs> this is very funny, no? Yeah. Because he knows that Rad Radhika knows him. And that was he now described and neglect in his qualities. He knows that she knows <laughs> that he is actually this, what he now neglect. Mm. He is naughty, he is, he is lusty, mm. this kind, all this. But now he he come in a, in a uh, dress and then now he, he make clear for Radhika, oh, I, this boy is this beautiful and he has so good qualities. <laughs> No one can do this like he himself. Yeah. No. <laughs> this nature called Dira Radita. Mm -hmm. Radita was very kind of, you know, pleasing, you know, pleasing, you know, attractive. Actually, Dira means very sober, but, uh, you know, this soberness is covering this kind of funniness, you know. Mm. This is Krishna's nature. Okay, soberness. Huh? Soberness, sober. Sober means a kind of seriousness. You know, like a, like a Naraya was very sober, you know? mm -hmm. I am God, yeah. like this. Serious. And also like, is it not also meaning that he is clever and sharp-minded? Yes, yes, sure, sure. A very intelligent also. Mm -hmm. And this kind of intelligence he is using also for tricks. Mm -hmm. right? Yes, yes. And, and then, and then makes us more, more juicy, more funny. You know? But when we see this, we see this is also a naive 
Yeah, he is also same time naive. Everyone knows, uh, okay, this is Krishna, no, but he is in the dress of a gopi, and he thinks nobody recognizes this. <laughs> He's bluish. <laughs> yeah, and also sometimes crying, you know. Yeah. Sometimes he cannot meet Radhika. He's crying, you oh, know. Yeah. He's very morose, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, And this is how we should keep Krishna in our heart as Radhika's Krishna, who is a very sweet. He's very sweet. I, I just I have one feeling that even God or even Krishna himself, he has no proud, he's not too proud to trick Radharani into loving him. To, to, to be sad or to, to cry to her maidservants. And here in the material world, we all, we are so proud. We don't want to, even to our dearest ones, we want to show any weaknesses. No? Mm -hmm. And here, yeah. Krishna is showing all weaknesses <laughs> or all tricks, <laughs> lying for, for just one moment with her, for one smile or something, you know. This is totally different than what we expect from, from the highest personality. Mm -hmm. right? Because we ourselves, we are not able to, to go in this position, mm. to lie, just to, to get some friendship mm. with somebody. Mm. Yeah. And what is, what is, why is this possible? Why can he be like this? This is, in this world, everyone said, I am yours and you have to take care of me, right? Mm. And there in Vrindavan, there is Radhika, she who say him, you are mine, <clears throat> and I will take care of you. So he can be very free of all mm. this, mm. and can be like this sweet boy who is trying to cheat and to do and to steal and <laughs> all these things we we see. So this is because of our Radhika. Mm. And also because of Parakya. Uh -huh. You know, Parakya, if we get married, you know, we cannot do like this, you know. Uh -huh. But if someone who does not marry, you know, then sometimes joking, you know, and many things we can do, you know. This is this is the sweetness of Parakya. That's Meeting on hiding places yeah. and all this playfulness. Yes. It's, there is no other place and no, no world, not in spiritual and not in material world. Mm. And, Nowhere mm. where he can play like this mm. and hiding God in, in this world only. God is hiding somewhere <laughs> to others. That's a good point. Who can uh, describe this? But we know from our Acharyas that it's possible in this beautiful Vrindavan, mm. and he is. Uh, yeah, playing with friends and all the sweetness is so beautiful. And here we can even enter in more uh, fine uh, uh, meanings of, of this love and the exchanging of this love. It's, it's so much truth. I mean, he is mm. lying about his own personality that somebody else yeah. likes him more. <laughs> this is, I, I, it's in a, a new dimension for me. I, I, to say it's really so sweet. <laughs> if, if your boy is coming and, and telling you something about himself, it's yeah. glory. Dress up. Dress <laughs> up. Oh, your son is so nice. He's the best boy. Yes. He has only good creatives. Yeah. He is so good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> It's, uh, Maybe I don't know. Time is yeah. Maybe. Time is over. Maybe we will continue tomorrow. Yeah, yes, maybe better. We and we, as the maid servants, we will remember this joking Moha. Yeah, and we will see him to Radhika's eyes, and we know the cleverness because she is the quintessence of cleverness, right? <coughs> yeah. So, he will never able to cheat her. She actually, when when he will enter the room, even in in a gopi dress, who can who can cheat her? Because she's the quintessence of cleverness. So 
she will immediately recognize him as Mohan. But how much she will enjoy this moment when he will enter in this dress and will her tell about his his beautiful qualities in, uh, uh, in another person. <laughs> so yeah. she will enjoy this and we see this and we are so enjoying this moment when she <laughs> will uh, uh, enjoy his words and he really think that she don't know who he is. <laughs> and this is just so funny, uh, isn't it? Very funny. Nice. And then Radhika is you know some hint to Manjari. Yeah. And then then Manjari said, Oh, maybe let us change your dress, you know. <laughs> okay, you know, and then Radhika said, Okay, I can give you a nice sari, you know, because you are so nice, you know. <laughs> then, and then, no, 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 no. You cannot do this, you know. No, no, no you don't be shy. I give you a nice sari. <laughs> And then Manji said, okay, I can do this you like. <laughs> and then some, you know, some some apples. Some, yes, apples, 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 yeah. apples. Oh, some police <laughs> fell down. And so everybody was even laughing, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> so so <laughs> sweet, juicy, very nice. Yeah. What I can feel of this is that here is no Aishwarya. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is a completely Madhurya Ras. Mm -hmm. So that we can finally give up all the remaining uh, Vaidhi Bhakti who is there within us, or at least within me. I have mm -hmm. to pick out all of the Vaidhi and go into the Raganuga, sweet, loving pastime. Yeah, actually, also it is said, uh, actually, Aishwarya is there, but Madhurya is so sweet. Superior. Superior and so sweet and, yeah. and the kind of covering, mm. like, you know, like a peanut there, but, uh, you know, chocolate coating, like, a, you know, caramelized, you know, maybe. Uh, yeah. And then we think no, no, no almond, no peanuts, but uh, if we taste, oh, oh my God. Actually, there. Because with, without Aishwarya, this 